Next right? question. All right. <laughs> I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> this is a crucial. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Um, oh, being okay. alone. Yep. Yeah. Being alone? Now we have each other, unfortunately. Oh, right. wow. That's good enough. All right. Hello, and welcome to another Stern Yellow Saturday. Yeah. What a great way to spend time together with the Stern Yellow trips. Just hanging out, watching them again, <laughs> watching them laugh, and doing it all as one. It's fantastic. Come on, come on, come on. We go away from my page to their page. McDonald's Q&A. Now... Clearly there's a part three, part four, part two, so I'm thinking the McDonald's Q&A is the one that Kenzie Johnson, shout out to you, wanted me to react to. I'm, I'm excited about it because 13 minutes. So we're gonna give it a watch. Now how does that make you feel? Like a part of me is missing. Oh my gosh. Gabby, how does that make you feel? Oh, I feel moisturized. Mm -hmm. mm. This Old Spice Fiji Hand and Body Lotion has me smoother than ever. So. Oh, wow. That's what it does. <laughs> That's what it does. Dion. <laughs> I'm going to need a minute. You take as much time as you need. Funny, funny, funny. Right. Oh. That's our time. <laughs> it's too high. You know I, I want to nail that, right? <laughs> okay, what's up? Pull Where up. are we at? Let's pull up. <laughs> I've never seen them so young. In 2020. Hi everyone, we're about to go to McDonald's and before we go there, I'm thinking we stop in the Dollar Tree and get our like, Dollar Tree costumes, you know what I'm saying? And then we can pop off in the McDonald's Dude, drive -thru. I can't believe that I bought every single one. <laughs> Chris just spent $125 on Lyrical Lemonade Lemonade. Nick anyway. Is we're my going dude. To Dollar Tree. We're gonna get dripped out in Halloween costumes. We're gonna go to McDonald's. You guys are gonna watch us eat and answer some of your common questions. Thanks, oh, Nick. What? Wait, Nick, get in. Nick is my dude. Honestly, that is like right up my alley. That I would. That'd be so. I wanna do that. I'm gonna do that with my friends that I had once in the past. Cause now I'm 33 and all your friends marry other people and create little friends that are called children and they move on from your life. Right. Guess what they just post on their story? No. Guess. What? What? Guess what comes what? with every can. What? What? A poster? No. A picture? A trading card. It comes with every can. Each person has their own lyric What if it's randomized and you get like no. the same one a hundred times? No, they have to get, they have to get the same person with the same can. That's yeah, that unlawful. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, Shut me, ah! Me at all 12. Look at Jack Harlow. He, he's handsome. He's a handsome guy. I like just found out. Hey guys, at Dollar Tree, we're gonna get costumes cool edit, to go through the McDonald's. I like just found out who right Jack next? Harlow is. Yes. Yeah. I'm embarrassed. Wait, are those wings or are they like... Guys, I'm thinking, in the front of the car, in the front of the Dollar Tree, there's like a bumblebee skirt. Yeah. And I don't know if it'll fit me, but I really want to wear it. Throw it on. Wait, wait, wait. So it rips a little bit. Yes, Chris. That's not what it's for, is it? Yeah, it is. I kind of want it. <gasps> oh, oh, one of you should become... Yep, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> you look crazy. <laughs> Mustaches? No. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Maybe that's where you get those. Costumes. We just picked out... Guys, I'm being a bumblebee. bumblebee. Nah. All right, pause the video while we get changed into our costume. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nick, 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 Nick. <laughs> Ready, guys? I can't, like, smile with this on. The unibrow, man. It's a look. Nice, Chris. <laughs> Come on. Let's pull up. Oh, Gepetto. <laughs> it's like a short little swoosh. Ask me if my fit goes crazy. No one handcuff is so funny. <laughs> 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 
Easy, you're gonna dent the Telluride. <laughs> McDonald's drive through here we go. Oh, I can't wear these sunglasses driving in the dark. <laughs> it's a mustache suits you so well. Yeah, I can see it in real life. <laughs> oh, I'm going for it. Do you guys both want like five pieces? Do you guys both want five pieces? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Imagine we die. Imagine if we ever got in a car accident, it cannot be now. And I love it. Look and see. Hi, can I get a 20 piece chicken nugget with sweet and sour? Okay. Three large fries. <laughs> yeah. You should buzz. Large Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and that's it. Large Dr. Pepper. <laughs> that's it. Thank you. <laughs> buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, buzz. <laughs> Buzz them back. I want them to buzz them back. Like, buzz, buzz them back. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Thank you so much. We went to the Dollar Tree and I got fake handcuffs. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. I recommend it. It's a great night out. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Oh, Please so, have a wonderful so night. Nick's the type of person that's gonna go around life becoming best friends with everybody. It's like so easy for him to like just talk to everybody in a way that like immediately makes you be like, wait, we've been friends for like ever, right? He's got that way. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys gonna start answering in some Can questions? I mean, you don't have to. I don't care. It's not gonna change my mind. Have a wonderful night. Love you. Oh, that's sweet, sweet goodness. Way to go, oh Nick. Oh my god. I, I'm not gonna lie, I did pee a little bit. I was laughing what? so hard, I was like shaking the camera. Bro, like, <laughs> as she was handing me the shit, I was going like this. Like, like, I was, I was like straightening it out. I told the lady I loved her. That's the first woman I ever said I loved her to, other than my mom. I got Dude, you man. started conversations with her. Yeah, like, she was oh sweet. My god. Answer some of the questions that people ask. So I can put a picture. I can put a picture of the DMs we got. You know what I'm saying? Let's brand new whiskers. Everybody's peed themselves a little bit, right? Whether awake or asleep, and then everybody's most likely pooed themselves a little bit, right? Accidente. Call siete, 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 siete. No, like, you know, you, you. Anyway, my Italian girlfriend made me lasagna uh, because she was going out of town and she wanted. She's, she's real. She exists, okay? Like, I totally. She's not. I'm not making her up, okay? She's real. My Italian girlfriend who makes me lasagna. I wouldn't make this up. Why would I make this up? But she made me a lasagna the other day and it definitely. It made me. I. I, it's not the I, maybe I drank too much ocean water when I was swimming, but I definitely pooped my pants a little bit out with my mom for lunch. I didn't tell my mom. I felt too ashamed. <laughs> but I'll tell you. What do I care? I got options. I got options. Oh, oh, that's not why you came. You didn't come to hear that story. One I know. I'm sorry. Overseas was what kind of sauce do you identify Ooh. as? Ooh. Well, some, me silk, like, silky barbecue on the low. Okay. Silky <laughs> barbecue. Barbecue. I'm 100% on the low. Chick fil A sauce. Ew. I'd be ketchup, but I'm not sure. I'd be ketchup because, like, a majority of people like them, but there's a few that don't. And I don't even like ketchup most of the time. Same, so, dude. I, I oh. I huh? yeah. I could get into this with you right now. <laughs> as a rude, as Wait a, a second. Rude, you know? Can we talk about you this? Ketchup like thing? Yeah. Not all the time. Are you guys going to move on from the ketchup? I got you, bro. Yeah. You guys... question we got? Wait, wait. Okay, sorry. Ketchup. I'm sorry, guys. I want to hear their questions and answers. I totally do, and I know you do too, but you might be already heard them. But just let, let me tell you about ketchup, okay? First of all. It's the it's 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 everywhere. It's on everything. People put it all over things. It's just like here, give me some sugar paste, and let me dress it up with some sugar. It's just tomato sugar, and I don't like it because it's not creative, it, and it's boring, and it's played out, and it's done, and it's it, it, it's almost like why don't you just just eat ketchup all the time, you know? Or well, I don't know, get get out of your comfort zone and try another sauce. There's other good sauces. I'm and getting your fingers in ketchup. I hate. Hmm. Huh, I don't like ketchup. It's not like I'm repulsed. I'm just more like, make a better choice. And by the way, while we're on this subject, I'm just talking about things that are a little too good to be true, right? Like soda, like Diet Coke, that's too good to be true. No calories and it tastes so sweet. It's gotta be full of other things. To be orange chicken, another too good to be true. What is this, oh, I'm eating chicken, it's good for me. No, you're not. What would you? What would happen if you went to KFC, got some fried chicken, then you were like, you know how I'm gonna make? We're just gonna smother this with with orange sugar 
It's fried chicken, and now introduce orange sugar paste. It's just too good to be true. How old is Chris? <laughs> just how old? <laughs> Chris is 17. 17. Born August 1st, 2003. Oh, I feel bad. This, look at this guy. So we're Leos. Yeah, we're all Leos, too. So we're Leos. Oh, Leo. Shit, Leo. Someone said, what's the worst part about being a triplet? The worst? Not having enough space. Yeah. Yeah, I would wow. say definitely having one bathroom and sharing. Sharing everything is probably the most annoying, but yet it's but, the like, best. It's not even that annoying. Yeah. Someone said, ready? Spell red, all of you. One, two. L L S E R. Lester? Huh? What are your favorite seasons? Lester? I'd say fall. I don't get that. We're all kind of fall. Oh, Memorable birthday. I'd say, like, going to Florida when we were 10. Yeah, that's a good one. Maybe, oh, cool. maybe Chuck E. Cheese, bro. Nah, I remember Chuck E. Cheese. Run ticket blast. <laughs> All their birthday, they have the same birthday. So what, one of, what, whoa. You could save a lot of money having triplets. It's all one party. I didn't think about that. I haven't thought about a lot of things. This is really great though, because I'm learning a lot more about them in this episode. So I promise I will not stop this video m more. The ticket. Maybe I like, oh, the ticket I went, all I could say is like, hey, I had like that big green ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah the like 100 a, one. Yeah. All I, that's like, the fastest my reflexes have ever been. <laughs> a Chuck E. Cheese ticket blaster. I swear, like, I swear, bro, I was looking in that direction. <laughs> all of a sudden, I went. <laughs> and I looked over, and I was like. Not the hand. It was like, it was like. She just said, like, like green ticket, 100. She just said, like, prospects, like, just in the ticket yeah, 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 blaster. Yeah, yeah. I don't say, Nick, have you ever sharded yourself? <laughs> yes. Oh. Like, answer to <laughs> No. Next question. Come Next on. Question. Next you question. had to have. I didn't have one chicken nugget yet. Next have question. One. I like that he didn't answer the question versus lying. I really have this thing about liars. I don't like people lying. I feel like it's just like, in life, you can always lie and just make it like easier by lying. By, oh yeah, let me lie to you and make whatever is happening right now easy. Don't lie. Just don't lie. Don't be a liar. Be impeccable with your word. That's part of the four agreements. It's like number one, impeccable. Not for them, but for you. You'll like yourself more, I promise. <laughs> I said I wouldn't stop it, but then he talked about sharding himself, and we already discussed the shardings. Man, all right, the, look, during this Photoshop ad for Photoshop, you should get Photoshop. You should learn how to use it. It's, you probably already know, but like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend. We, I'm, I'm at 1,950 subs, so we're like close to 2,000. Help me get there. That'd be so cool if we got there. Help, what with is your help, that we can do it. Your brother Thank do you. That you like. <laughs> what <that> is? <laughs> Nugget piece all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Sad <laughs> bumblebee crit. <laughs> Nick in the back. I have like tears coming out of my eyes right now. All right, oh next question. Because we didn't like that one, I guess. What are all of your pet peeves that the other triplets do? Uh, I would say Chris does not. Chris doesn't flush the toilet. toilet. I forget. He oh, sure okay, and, and oh. Nick will take a shower, and I'll go into the bathroom after Nick, and he doesn't change it from shower to tub, so I just get blasted with Arctic do Breeze that. water. All right. Then like, how about this? Shivering. Mine about Matt is he hits over every single scenario. You cannot talk shit out. The second you bring something up that he did that he doesn't like, it's... <laughs> 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 Nick is like... Instead of, um, like, telling you you're bothering him, he'll just announce it immediately. Like, I'll go in his room and sit on the bed, and it'll move the slight position he was in. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you just moved my entire body. I was so comfortable. You need to get out of my room right now. And he is so mad. Yeah, can Next still question. Do? Next question. Wait, why is Chris leaving Lincoln logs in the toilet, man? You got to flush those down, dude. Everybody, <laughs> I like everybody just knows it's him. Next question. All right. Next question. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Arguing with you. Oh, 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 oh my god. What? That what? woman just got hit Someone by a said, cart. This is crucial! <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest fear? <laughs> um, oh, being okay. alone. Yep. Yeah. Being alone? Now we have each other, unfortunately. Oh, right. wow. That's good enough for me. Not, it's not really scared, but uncomfortable. No, with my, my biggest fear is dead animals. I'd rather be attacked than by a squirrel really good. than have a dead one placed onto me. I'd be horrified. I'd be horrified. Well, get attacked but, by a squirrel. I'm not scared of them, though. Like, I don't like them. Y'all see me? Um, Caroline asked, LOL, this is probably a shitty question, but if there were a movie made of your life, who would you want to play you, and what would be the title? I would also play myself, and it would be called... <laughs> <laughs> 
Put, no, but like, I'm actually, no, put like, put like, um, <laughs> no, actually, who would you, Help so. another question is, do y'all like pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie smacks. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin pie is my, one of my favorites. Do y'all like pumpkin pie? pie? It's totally like up to how I'm feeling that hour. Mm-hmm. I can't have a pumpkin pie like all the time. Like if someone brought me a pumpkin pie right now, I wouldn't eat it. All right. But I would have it. I'm answering the question. Someone asked Del Taco or Taco Bell. Oh, Del Taco, Taco Del Taco, Del Taco. Taco. Near Del Taco. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, guys, 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 guys. guys. Let me tell you about Del Taco. Okay, honestly, when we end up collaborating in the future one day, Sterniolo trips, we're going to make it happen. I'm going to bring you a Del Taco Fiesta Pack. The Del Taco Fiesta Pack comes with 12 items. You could share that so well. Divide that by three. You each get fourth. So remember that girlfriend that I totally have? Well, she just called during the filming, so it interrupted the point I was making. I, was I making a point? I think I was, but it doesn't matter. We need to move on. Never. Oh, they could share Del Taco. Okay, you get, oh my God, you get six bean and cheese burritos with red or green sauce. I recommend splitting it down the pipe, half red, half green. You don't know really what they taste like, but it's good. Okay, then you get six chicken soft tacos, sour cream, lettuce, a little bit of tomatoes, chicken, cheese delish and they're soft so you pop 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 them in del taco is my favorite i check on stores around the southern um the southern southwest hemisphere i just i go there store number 258 down in culver city i check up on mirth and morale there and see how management's doing i like to just kind of support the staff you know what i mean i'm a big del taco supporter uh just wanted to let everybody know that del taco is Free Shavaka do! Yeah. <laughs> Free Shavaka do! Free Shavaka do? Del Taco is West Coast. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so that's what, over. Okay, Got this it. is a great question. What they form of chicken? What form of chicken best describes you? For nugget. example, <laughs> wing, tender, nugget, or live chicken? Tender. Like the long, Ooh. crunchy, just amazing. Well, just amazing. Nugget, yeah. I mean, like that good, like chicken that you just put yeah, right you in the honey mustard. Oh, all right, next question. Next question. So you, your answer is no, no, no. I'm done with so this question. Hot. Nugget. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, Mr. Krabs. Nick's editing is uh, is much more fricative, like it's much more fast in these earlier uh, videos. Like he's doing a lot more um, than in the later videos. Just an observation. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> no, get tender and batty. Yo, stop! Don't call me. Don't call yourself bad. Chill, bro. I mean, I thought the car was moving. Oh my god, I, I just like had a heart attack. Someone said, my question for you for your YouTube videos. How do you feel about doing online school for senior year, or how was your experience for online school? I'd rather be in school. I'd rather be in school. I'd rather be with my friends. I don't just out of all do. Nick. Nick. Then Matt, then me. Two minutes apart each. How do you feel? What are your favorite Damn. movies and shows? Your oh, show is Drake and Josh or Spongebob. I loved Gra- Gravity Falls. Oh, my favorite show Drake is Drake and Things. Josh? Kid, I don't know. Where's my wallet? I was in acting class as a kid with Josh. I was in this acting class, and it had, like, a lot of like current celebrities in it like Evan I don't need to list names there was a lot of celebrities J- Josh was in there um and uh in this acting class this is amazing I, my acting teacher told me like you're not going to make it as an actor he, you're just not and I was like uh why and he's like well for example tell me what you did this weekend and I was like oh my god so this weekend, we ran f- through the forest. It was incredible. I, I was collecting mushrooms. I don't know why. I was be like a mushroom forager. And then my like, acting coach was like, just stop. Do you see how much you're doing? You, you're ne- T- TV and film is like e- micro, micro acting, micro this. You know, that's why all these actors that are good, they like whisper. They're like always whispering. They're not really doing anything more than whispering. He was right, <laughs> my acting teacher. That's our Whoa. Whoa. Where's my super suit? And then favorite artists as in music? Um, Lil Skies, Lil Mosey. I'm really feeling Lil Tecca and Billie Eilish, Jack Ariana Harlow. Grande, Dua Lipa, and Jack Harlow. Who else? Really feeling Jack Harlow Ian. and Tecca lately. Who else? Polo G, Polo G. Absolute God. Juice World, obviously. Pop Smoke. You know. You know, the huge. The huge. What's your most embarrassing I story? I like only knew I, like four of those people. 
man. Shit on the stairs while I'm set our house. <laughs> <laughs> and I shit in the backyard. <laughs> we're all below the age of eight when all this yeah. well, basically, all, we all shit ourselves before the... And Matt shit himself. I shit in my backyard and Chris shit on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> and you shit on the highway. <laughs> shit on the highway. I want to ride you all night long. <laughs> <laughs> you shit on the highway in a Dunkin' Donuts bag. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You have to tell them about it now. No, I can't. All right. That's what do you have to I'm tell? Trim that a little. No, that's. That's it. That whole thing is sick. You don't need to tell us. We get it. Our car broke down. Lose like our car grand. broke down <laughs> for like five hours. <laughs> our car broke down for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> our car broke down on the highway, so Chris had no choice but to just do it in a Dunkin' Donuts bag. <laughs> That's about it. I'm sorry. I'm joking. I'm joking. Sad. All right. I don't know if it's anyone if anyone asked this yet, but I'm not sure if it's too personal either. Can I ask you guys about your experience with surviving a house fire and what that entailed for you guys? Love you guys. Friend's house. So, my mom heard the video. Oh, I think there should be a separate video. All right. All right. Sick. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Cool. Uh, let's like it. We're already subscribed, so subscribe to me if you're already subscribed to them and us. Okay, let's get out of there, talk about a couple things. Uh, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Um, okay, so, uh, couple things. The fear question was awesome, and how Chris said fear of being alone, I was like, whoa. Like that, that was really deep. Chris is deep, you know, philosopher. Um, and then Nick was like afraid of like a dead squirrel more than a live squirrel. But I'm like, dude, if you've ever had a live squirrel attack you, it's horrifying. I know because I uh, have been attacked by, I haven't been attacked by squirrels, but I've always imagined for whatever reason that if I were to be attacked by a squirrel, it wouldn't be by one. It'd be like some coordinated effort amongst the squirrel community where they would amass in a, in a almost like a sea of brown bushy tails running at me chestnuts flying through the air. Um, it would be like a full attack. I don't know why I've imagined this. Maybe I dream about it. But it's basically just... I'm not afraid of one squirrel, but like a hundred squirrels or even ten. Just imagine just ten running at you. That's horrifying. Um, so I love the fear part of that. Also learning more about them in that section. And then also, uh, let me just clear up this acting story. So, because there's a, there's a moral in it. There's a lesson in there. And it's taken me a long time to learn it. Um, which is, you know, I'm working on trying to figure out how to be myself because a lot of my life, people tell me, they're like, you're not like, just be yourself. And I'm like, you don't get it. I am being myself. Myself is just different. I am strange and weird and full of energy and full of like enthusiastic love. It's weird. It's like, I just want to like gush and pour on like happy on people. And that's just like how I feel a lot of the time. And then sometimes, obviously, I get like sad and dark and upset and all that stuff. But this acting teacher told me, he was like, you aren't going to make it as an actor. And I got really upset by that. And I kept going despite him saying, you're not going to make it as an actor. And uh, now, here as a 33-year-old, I haven't made it as an actor, which is fine. I mean, I've been in a movie, and I, I've been in a couple movies. Well, it doesn't matter. I've done a couple things, and I act, and I. But because of my failures in acting, auditioning specifically, I basically stopped auditioning. I was like, "Look, I know what I want to do. I want to perform, so I'm going to continue to perform. So I do stand up, obviously, I do improv and stuff like that. But then I also started this other channel called Dumb Owl Productions, which is on YouTube, where I write my own things to act in, and then I act in them. So it's like. I heard that acting teacher and, and I kind of understood that I wouldn't get where I wanted to go in the acting world from like the traditional audition approach because a lot of times when you're acting you, you, and you're, you're auditioning for things, it's almost like they want you to be somebody that's relatable to a lot of people in order to play a role. And if, if I act in a way that's unrelatable because not a lot of people are like that, 
well then that's not gonna be good for acting you know what I mean like getting parts and stuff so what I have to do as far as I'm concerned is just like be myself for the rest of my life until the point where people are like hey we know who you are we know your energy we want you to audition for this thing now so that's kind of like my approach and in the meantime I've just been like working hard and making all the videos and like performances and parts that I've like wanted to play or um, it's actually because of that failure in that acting class with that acting teacher and going and going and going never giving up like I discovered that I was I don't want to say more than an actor because that makes it sound like acting isn't enough but it, it wasn't for me. I like writing. I like directing. I like shooting. I like using, I like taking something from like a concept and like bringing it all the way through production and then seeing how it comes out on the other end. So that is my story about my acting class with Josh was in it. Um, and then other actors that are, you know, <laughs> they have really good careers, like they're X-Men's and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, anyway, I feel like this is fine. Are we done? I feel like we're done. This is going to be a big edit. Listen, uh, thank you so much for coming back and, and watching my channel. Everybody that's been commenting, thank you so much. Like, your engagement, your support, the kind things people have been writing um, has really, like, has really been awesome. So thank you so much and keep it going. And if uh, if you do enjoy, uh, I, there's there's been a couple comments I saw recently that that people are like you got to do more than just one video a week with the Sturden Yolos so I'm gonna try to figure out a way to do that um, I just quit my job at my the restaurant that I work at um, but that's because I'm trying to make this feature film called Spiders in Space I'll tell you more about that next time um, and so I gotta like get it financed so I have to like go raise three million dollars and I've never done that so I'm in a learning curve so I'm taking a risk I'm like a little fledgling bird running to the top of a tree and like jumping and like I'm fall and then I'm like and then I'll climb back up the tree and then I jump again anyway that kind of feels like the story of my life but um thank you once again uh love is all around us inside of us through us drink more water hug somebody you love thank you again when you feel like life isn't gonna get any better just know it stays better <laughs> what that's not what I say <laughs> when you feel like life isn't gonna get any better just know it always gets better stay good bend force catch balls on the chest blast off Whoa! Whoa! Welcome to my channel. Subscribe. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna sit right here and ask you to subscribe. I'll wait until you do it. So go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it.